It was August 24th, 2012. It was a Friday night. My mom had died a few months earlier from breast cancer, and I was driving to my dad's house. My cell phone rang. I did a U-turn and slammed on the gas. My good friend Owen and his wife Linda had two young boys. They had just bought a house on Barnesdale. Three blocks down the street was a stash house. Owen had an on-again, off-again battle with drugs, but this didn't change the fact that he was a really great guy. He had managed to keep off the crystal meth for two months before going on the four-day bender that ended his life. He was using with people we didn't know, so we couldn't find him. His method was shooting up into his neck. I don't know exactly what happened, but somehow a needle tip broke off in his jugular vein and the powerful current wedged it an inch from the entry point. Prolonged substance abuse had pushed him into a psychosis. Because of this and the numbing effect from the methamphetamines, Owen felt he could perform his own operation. So he took a knife to his throat. The other person there tried to help, but it was too late. Owen had made an incision in an attempt to remove the needle, and upon realizing the gravity of his mistake, collapsed out the front door and onto the porch as they tried to stop the bleeding. Life drained from his jugular, the flow too powerful to stem. EMTs arrived as his heart pumped for the last time. By the time I got there, all that was left of Owen was a large pool of blood on the porch. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and feel the anxiety of that experience. Fear wells up inside me as I catch my breath. I can't imagine how he must have felt, how scared he must have been. He was my friend and I miss him.